Mo here and uh, thanks for clicking the link. Uh, we're going to show you how to wrap a stick with uh, our stick and finger tape. We started using our uh, stick, uh, our uh, grip tape uh, with our setup kit. That's what we wrapped around uh, to keep uh, the secure tape in place when you placed your weights inside of the setup stick to get your weight combinations. A couple of uh, drummers came back and said, hey, can we have some extra tape? Because we like the way it feels. Uh, so we said, sure. So we started including a, uh, a couple of feet with a stick. Uh, and they loved it. Um, I use it on my fingers when I'm building the sticks. Especially when I'm getting inside of these grooves with the sandpaper. Uh, you do a couple of bricks. Uh, with uh, sandpaper getting this nice and smooth, it's gonna really rip into your skin. I hate wearing gloves. You can't really feel the wood with gloves. So I started to wrap my fingers. Uh, during a little break, um, I love to get behind the drums. I had my grip tape in my hand, on my fingers. I had grip tape on the sticks. And when I started to play, they really felt nice. It's sort of like these things don't stick to anything but themselves. So we decided, hey, let's make it available. I'll show you how to wrap a stick. Just remember, this tape is very delicate, but it's also very strong. Um, and it will not stick to anything but itself. So we can put it on a piece of wood. It's not sticking. put it on your skin, it's not sticking. However, the moment it touches itself, it's sticking and it's not going nowhere. Now that's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing if you're trying to remove it. So that's why we give you a little bit of finishing tape, nothing more than electrical tape. Let's show you how simple it is to wrap your stick. Take some of your finishing, your finishing tape to start the wrap. I fold over the tape because it's easy to find the end. So you can just cut off the fold. And then gently, again, as we did with the setups, just roll the stick. First, unroll this because again, these things, when they stick to each other, they stick to each other. And without any much force, just roll the stick. We give you 10 foot of this. This is about three foot. And again, it takes about three feet to wrap up a stick. Uh, so you've got plenty of extra, extra tape. Now, you can roll past the groove or just in front of the groove, and I'll show you what in front of the groove looks like, uh, past the groove look like, but we'll just do this. Cut the tape. Now before anything, the remaining tape, fold the tape a couple of times. Because once this touches, and you do not have this little extra bul uh, bulge here of tape, you will never find the end of it and basically this is just garbage but at least now you can use this tape if you want to wrap your finger now if you're going to permanently keep this on the stick just continue wrapping and just squeeze it however if you want to take it off once in a while get a little electrical tape we throw a little extra in there but you can get your own electrical tape Cut a little bit, either wrap it all around, whatever you prefer, and you've got yourself a grip with the groove exposed. Now, we have four colors. 
This is a blue and a green. I put a blue on the bottom and I just sort of like swirled the green. I went past the groove. So this is a double groove uh, stick and both grooves have the grip tape on it. Here's what I'm talking about if I wanted to take it off. It, very easy, it comes off very easily once you have the tape. But if you want to wrap your sticks and keep them wrapped, you love it, you don't need this. Just when you're finished, just remember, once this touches itself, it's there. Now, let's say you want to do your finger, your blister on your middle finger when you play, your blister here, wherever you blister. Take the, take the tape. Very, very loosely. Let it touch. Roll some tape out first. And very loosely. I mean loose because if it's too tight, it's not coming off. And if you want to get it off quick, you're going to be calling for help. Wrap it a couple of times. Now, obviously, you're not going to put any finishing tape, but remember what I said about this tape. Uh, fold this over a couple times so you can find the end. Now, again, you saw how loose this is, but once you squeeze it like this, you're in. You can put a little extra tape here and create a little bulge here so it fits right in here. Wherever you'd like it, you can create your own little custom little grip here. It depends how hard you're going to play. You can keep these sticks if you're really going to wail on the drums. They're not going nowhere. These are definitely not going nowhere. And again, since these are loose, these can come right off. And just throw them away. If they're too tight, you will not be able to find the end and you'll be trying to get them off it. If they're really tight, they're going to hurt. So very loosely. Again, here's your grip sticks, uh, your grip tape and finger tape and stick tape. Uh, you can find this online, www dot modrumsticks.com uh, have fun with them and thanks for going mo bye